Hi everyone. So I just wanted to hop on here real quick and let everybody know that I'm still alive. Okay, I'm not dead. <laughs> I know I've not been on here for quite some time and to be perfectly honest with all of you, um, I'm pretty sure that not long ago I made a video stating that I really feel like most of my ministry on YouTube is completed. I have come on here and I have covered everything that the Lord has asked me to cover. I mean, I have covered Law and Covenant. I have covered, you know, there's a lot of people in the churches today that don't understand um, Law and Covenant. They just don't. And I have come on here and I have explained everything. Um, I noticed that there were a lot of people in the churches that really are holding on to and embracing paganism, outright paganism, and that it's still in a lot of the churches. And so um, the Lord asked me to help Christians understand law and covenant and to help them understand that they need to cast the paganism out of the churches and get back to God's appointed times, his feasts and his festivals which are to be kept throughout your generations until he returns. And even when he returns, we're going to be keeping the Feast of Tabernacles, or it says you will receive no rain. So I've gone over that. I have gone over, um, the Lord shared with me that there are a lot of people out there who are really stuck in vanity and competing with one another. The Lord showed me this and asked me to also address those issues of vanity and people competing with each other. He also asked me to expose any false doctrine and those who were teaching it. And I've done that. Um, it frustrates me because even though I have exposed some of these false teachers and their false doctrines, um, their followers just still follow after them, and these people s show no signs of changing. And there is no point in continuing to expose people and their false doctrines on a regular basis. Now, if I see someone who puts out a video, and it is totally something that needs to be addressed... I will definitely do that. However, what I'm really trying to say here is that I don't feel that I am needed on YouTube as often as before because the Lord has asked me to cover those topics and I have done so and there's plenty of resources up on this channel for people to learn and grow and I don't feel that I am needed on here every single day for that. So that is really what I'm saying in a nutshell. The Lord has asked me to cover um, Long Covenant and paganism and vanity and competitiveness and materialism fits in with that as well. You know, people who hoard everything, they don't want to share, they just, they're just greedy and they just want money. We're talking about things that would cause people to sin here, you know, and he's asked me to expose the false doctrine and those who teach it. So I've done that. So I do not feel that I am needed on this channel every single day or every single week for that matter. So if I feel that there is something that the Lord really wants me to get on here and say, I will definitely do that if he prompts me to do that. But the channel is really just up here for whoever needs it. Uh, there's plenty of resources in the playlist. And if you look at my subscriptions, there's plenty of resources over there for people to learn and grow. And that's what's most important, is that people can still learn and grow and get something out of this channel. So, you're not going to see me on here an awful lot. Now, I did promise some people that I would go on some trips around Colorado Springs. I still plan to do that. We're still going to do that, okay? Um, if the Lord has something he wants me to share, I'm definitely going to come on here and I'm going to do that. If I feel like someone's video is out of line, I'm, gonna, I'm going to come on here and I'm going to point that out. Okay. Um, 
but I just wanted to let you all know that I'm still alive and I just wanted to reiterate in case some people don't understand that I feel that my ministry on YouTube for the most part is is completed is done and the channel is just up here for whoever needs the resources and that does not mean that I will never come on here because if I have something that I feel is from the Lord, I'm going to come on and I'm going to share it. Okay. Um, it's just that I've completed everything the Lord has asked me to come here and do. Um, it gets very frustrating. It gets very frustrating when I check in on YouTube and check in on various channels and stuff. I have to be honest that it makes me want to stay away in some cases because there's a group of people on here who are just downright outright bullies and they enjoy hurting other people they really really enjoy that and they love they enjoy gossiping about other people and I don't want anything to do with that group I don't want anything to do with those people at all and the more silence and distance I give them the better off they are the better off they are um, and so that's really frustrating to see all of those reprobates all over YouTube. It's very frustrating. And another thing that really, really frustrates me are these people on YouTube who pay Jesus a lot of lip service. And they get on their videos, they get out their Bibles, they talk for like half an hour or more or whatever. And they just pay Jesus a lot of lip service. But yet, you can see that they are fake. They're phony. They're totally fake and phony. And Jesus said that those people would exist. He said that there would be people who honor him with their lips, but their hearts are far from him. And I see those people on YouTube who honor him with their lips, but their hearts are far away. And you can see and tell that very easily. And that just really frustrates me. Um, it shocks me. It shocks me that I know what the Bible says. I mean, I know what the Bible says, that these people exist, that there are going to be Christians who are faking it, and they're paying Jesus a lot of lip service, but yet their hearts are not right with him. I get that, but it's, it's really, really hard to see, like it played out you know what I mean like on YouTube it's really hard to see it played out like I go to these people's channels and I'm just constantly rolling my eyes and I'm just like yeah right whatever you know because <laughs> I know they're full of baloney um and another thing that really really frustrates me and then I'm, I'm really gonna end this video um another thing that really really frustrates me is just I see so much insecurity on YouTube among the Christian community I see so much insecurity. They're not putting their security in Christ at all. They talk so much about how they really love Jesus and how they're so close to him and he's always present in their life every day. But yet, their insecurity is just screaming from their channels. Uh, it's like they constantly have to prove something to everyone else. Like they have to prove that they have this a uh, nice life and that they're having all this fun and everything <laughs> and it's just not necessary um, and I tell people all the time you know different people are on different journeys and nobody's journey is gonna look like somebody else's and so for anybody to compare their life with someone else's is just foolish and silly because you can't. <laughs> well, for one thing, people don't show you everything in their life. Not everyone shows you everything that is in their life. So for you to assume that your life is better than another person's life is foolish and silly. Because you really don't know the real answer to that. You're just guessing by what they're showing you in their videos. You know, so you really don't know the whole truth about someone's life. So that is why it's so silly to compare your life to someone else's. And it's so silly. You're breaking one of the Ten Commandments, thou shalt not covet, basically. Because you are comparing your life with someone else's, and you don't even know. You don't even know. 
everything that is a part of that person's life. You're you're only guessing by what they show you on social media. You know, so it just frustrates me because people are not putting their security in Christ. Everyone is learning something different. So everyone is under a certain amount of testing. And nobody's testing is the same. So I just find it so utterly, utterly silly and ridiculous when people get into competitions with each other on YouTube. Because there is no competition. That, that's what it really amounts to. There is no competition. Jesus gives to each person what he wants them to have. According to their testing. And he takes away things according to people's testing. So, our goal is the kingdom. Okay, our goal is not our house, our cars, our material possessions, how good we look, whether we have a husband or not, whether we have kids or not. That is not what matters. What matters is our eternal destiny. Okay, we're working for the kingdom. We're looking forward to the kingdom. Um, I've said it before and I will say it again. People can have a lot of things down here. A lot of, a lot of things. And they can also lose it all in the end. I mean, I just literally, honestly, laugh at people, and you guys should too. I, I laugh at people who brag about every single thing they have down on this earth, but yet I can see clearly how fake and phony they are, right? That they're not really saved. And I think to myself, you know, enjoy, enjoy your pleasures down here, because that is the closest to heaven you will ever have. That is the closest to heaven you will ever come. Because I know that some people are going to have everything down here and not even make it to the other side. They're not even going to make it into the kingdom. They're going to... So they have everything they could have ever wanted down here and they lost it all. They lost it all in the end. So I tell people all the time, stop comparing your life to other people's lives. And just the insecurity just frustrates me, you guys. The... It's, it's almost, like, so disgusting. It's so disgusting to me how insecure some people are. Like, they feel like if someone else has something, they got to prove they've got it, too. And, you know, not only do they prove they have to have it, but sometimes they, they, they feel like they have to prove they have even more. And, which is really silly and foolish, like I said before, because they don't even know that they've got more. They're just guessing that they do. <laughs> Maybe the other person isn't even showing everything that they have. See, that's why we need to stop this. We need to stop the jealousy, stop the competitiveness. It's, it's just disgusting me and making me want to stay off of YouTube, honestly. Because you know what? When it comes to my personal life, I have absolutely nothing to prove to anyone. I have lived a wonderful, fulfilling life on this earth. And if I were to die today, I'd die a happy woman. Okay? And so... It just, it's almost disgusting to me that some people feel so insecure that they feel like they have to constantly prove that they have the same thing that someone else has and maybe even more. It's so disgusting, isn't it? I mean, isn't that kind of disgusting? That they're that desperate, that they're that desperate that they have to prove that they have everything that someone else has and maybe even more. So I don't like that. I never have, you know, I, I do not like, I do not like braggarts. I do not like show-offs. I do not like, I don't care for insecurity. I mean, I understand to a certain point we're all kind of insecure in one area or another in life because that is just, you know, we're just human, right? We're not perfect. But blatant insecurity just disgusts me. And I'm sorry, but I'm just being honest about that.
okay? And whatever I put on my channel, it is to share. It is not to compete with anybody. It is not to equal up with any, anybody. Okay. So hopefully I'm clear about all that. I really need to get on here and vent a little bit because that's what frustrates me and keeps me off of YouTube, you know. Uh, I've actually been enjoying a lot of good time with my friends lately. Um, I've been having a lot of fun here in Colorado Springs and, you know, I, I, I don't feel the need to, to grab a video camera and show off my friends or all the fun that I'm having because I'm secure with my life. I, I'm not an insecure person. I don't feel like I have to get on here and do that sort of a thing. Okay, so anything that I come on here and do, you guys, it is because I want to share it with you all. And that's it. I'm not trying to be better than anyone else. I am not trying to match up to anyone else. I know that I have all of eternity to look forward to. And like I said, I, I've lived a very happy life down this earth. Very fulfilling. And so if I died today, I would die happy. And nobody else has a right to judge me otherwise and say that that's, that's not how I should feel or whatever. So, yeah, that's it, everybody. So I will be back on in the near future with some trips, just for fun. And I just wanted to get on here and share my heart a little bit about how I've been feeling. You know, this stuff just keeps me off of YouTube. It doesn't want me, doesn't make me want to get on here and make videos. It just wants, it just makes me want to, to get away from YouTube. When I, when I have to deal with a bunch of insecure Christians that have to prove something to everyone, when I have to deal with a bunch of bullies who won't leave me alone, when I have to deal with, you know, um, fake and phonies who pay Jesus a lot of lip service, but I know darn well they're not saved. That just really frustrates me. Um, but as for those of you who have supported my channel, I appreciate you. And we're kindred spirits, the ones who have supported my channel, because they understand me, they get me, and they appreciate the channel content. And I appreciate you guys, and this is not directed at you at all. So um, this is directed at the rest of you too. <laughs> So just keep me in prayer, you guys. Um, it is hard to have an office like this because this is the kind of stuff you have to deal with <laughs> when you're called to do something like this. So all of you, um, <laughs> have a great day. I'm just going to get off here and spend some time with my son. And, uh, you know, my son really is a gift from God, an inheritance from the Lord. And if I did not have him, I don't know what I would do. I would, I would be so empty without my son. So I think I'm going to go spend some time with him and I'll catch y'all later. Have a great day.